Disclaimer! Just because we do it, doesn't mean you should. Now I can actually start assembling this thing and kind of get things rocking and rolling. I'm going to go ahead and label the positive and negative. And it is definitely a good idea, like, like they mentioned in the home build help video, to install them, since this is going to be on the left side of the firewall, to install these so that you can actually get to the, to the, the, the screw, worm screw, from the left side of the airplane, which is, yeah, that's a good idea. pre-filters, or our uh, coarse filters. We can take these caps off. We have some kind of, some kind of goop. Maybe that was gluing the cap on, I don't know. And so, it is nice that they have these little cutouts for these rings here and here on the pump. So you can see where it's supposed to go. This one doesn't move much either, so let's have these both kind of towards each other. And then they say, let's see, then we're supposed to measure the distance between these. So we're looking at right at oh, probably about, about 48 millimeters, maybe like 47 millimeters. We'd probably do 45 and we'd be fine but right about there and then I guess we're gonna make four we're gonna cut four pieces 45 millimeters or so long one here one here and then one here and one here So, the important part is to remember to put the clamps on. Just like when you like solder wires together, you got to put the heat shrink on before you put everything together. That's what I always forget though. Okay, let's clamp these babies down. Okay, I got my Oedeker clamps, or uh, pliers here. Funny story about these pliers is I didn't even realize that I had these, or I didn't realize what these were, because when I was a wee child, I think I used these, no, I know I used these to um, smash um, mosaic tiles, but I think I bought these from like Michael's Crafts or something, like a craft store. And I use them to like crush the tiles, but I don't know why I would be using these because I'm pretty sure that these are Odeker clamps, pliers. Anyway, here we go. Let's let's clamp these babies. Let's see. Let's try and get it right about right. I don't want it right on the end, but right about there. Well, look at that. And it turns out they actually work. Huh. That's pretty cool. 
All right, let's get these ones. Wow, for once I actually had a tool, and I didn't have to buy it, and I didn't even realize I had it. Probably right about there. Yay! Cool. Yeah, that's not coming off for sure. I don't even know how you get these things off, actually. Even if, if, I, if I needed to. I know the lighting is not very great here. That looks pretty good. Okay. Cool. Coolness. Okay, now we can attach our T our T uh, joint here, T fitting. Let's see, where's the... I just had them. Oh, they're in here. Uh, yeah, here they are. Okay, so there's two, three... Uh, where's the... Where's the fourth one? Oh, what did I do with that? Did I do something with it? Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man, don't tell me you shorted me a... a clamp. Oh. Can't say I'm surprised. Okay. Uh, super cool. Well, uh, it just so happens that there are some clamps that come with the, in part, as part of the fuel system thing, that's Calvin, uh, from Zenith. So I'm going to have to use, well, those are different sizes. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me, man. What's this? Is this also fuel system? This battery stuff. Engine mount. Fuel system. Aha! Here's some more. No, shoot, those are hose clamps. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. Shoot. All right, maybe I just misplaced it somewhere. What I decided to do actually is uh, borrow permanently this uh, clamp from the uh, oil breather kit thing because I can't find the other clamp with this fuel kit. So it's like, what up with that? Well, I don't know, we'll figure that out later. <clears throat> what I want to do right now is just get this thing uh, pretty much finished up so that way I'm not leaving it halfway finished which can can be a really nice thing to do sometimes to just get it done with or pretty much done so let's get this on there nice and pretty even i think that looks good the main thing is we just want we want plenty of uh plenty of 
hose to go past the point of the actual seal. seal. Okay, where's my, there we go. Let's clamp these babies down. Oh, and just to note that <clears throat> I'm doing this because this is just kind of the way that people have set this up. Oh, shoot. It just occurred to me there. Um, this is just how UL Power or how Homebuilt Help does it and, I, and how Zenith does it. So the reason why this T-joint is going this way is because the inlet fuel is going to be coming in from, from over here. And then the outlet is actually going to go to the right. If I'm looking at it from this perspective, incoming fuel comes from the left. Outgoing fuel goes to the right. So that's why I have it set up like this. This is just kind of weird. It's just weird the way that they put these two kits together. It's kind of strange. But so here we have, okay, so we got these two together. We got our outlet right here. See, there's a hole that goes through there, interestingly enough. And what we want to do is get our copper ceiling rings. Because we're not using like rubber gaskets or anything. I'm gonna put these over here. And then we're gonna put this like double banjo uh, fitting thing. I'm going to put them through here. I have to move it around a little bit to get it to fit right. Oh, okay. Well, let me loosen this. I guess it was would have been better to do that before I tighten these down. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Then we're gonna get two more. Like that. And then we're going to get see like why why did they put these like this separate? I don't know. Not totally sure, but that's okay. The most important thing is that I have them. So we've got those there, and then we put the caps, caps over here. Get our other cap. Where's our other cap? There it is. Okay. And the rest of this stuff is going to be for hooking up, like the, the going back to the, uh, well, out of the pumps and to the engine. So we'll have our fine filter later. Okay, I need to get a wrench. Definitely need that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's a three three quarters inch. We're gonna snug these down and basically we need them tight enough so that they don't leak. So that nothing leaks. But obviously we don't want to over tighten them. Okay, 